Hi, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a delicious and easy to make Japanese cuisine, curry chicken rice. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the ingredients. We can get this easily from most grocery stores. First, cut the chicken thigh into small pieces. About 2 inch by 1 inch should be ideal. But it's also fine up to your own preference. Let's set it on the side. The next move, we are gonna cut the potatoes. We cut these into bite-sized cubes and put it in water to wash the extra starch. Same thing for carrots and onions. We just randomly cut them into edible sizes. Again, it's up to you how big you cut. Then we heat the pan into high heat and put a butter into the pan. First, we add the chicken thigh into it. Quickly stir them to golden crispy. Then we add the onion to get the flavor out of it, followed by potatoes and carrots. Give it a quick stir to prevent the ingredients stick to the bottom. We add some water to cover the ingredients and bring it to a simmer, about 3 minutes. Then we add the curry cubes, based on the instruction on the out packaging. In this case, we use 4 curry cubes. Slightly crush the curry cubes to help it dissolve better. Now we turn down the heat a little and cover with the lid for 10 minutes. We can see the curry thicken. Then we add a can of coconut milk to give it rich, smoothy texture. Stir the curry occasionally to prevent sticky. And we add some dried mango pieces to deepen the flavor. We can do other tropical fruits and even apples as well, but it's quite optional. We turn down the heat a little and give another final simmer for about 5 minutes. You can add some salt or other seasonings according to your own taste. Now we turn off the heat and move the pan, and pour the curry beside the steamed white rice. 